I used to think the best way to get stuff done was by using willpower to buckle down and deny myself in the face of distractions or urges to procrastinate. Thankfully, I discovered I was far more effective when I focused on augmenting rather than relying on my willpower. So here are five Chrome extensions that allowed me to finally start to focus and get stuff done. One of the biggest demons that I've wrestled with in life has been YouTube. But now when I go to YouTube, you can see there's nothing here. I can still search for and find and watch whatever I want, but there's no recommended videos, there's no comments, there's not even a home feed. This is all thanks to an extension called Unhook YouTube, and it simply allows me to toggle off and on the various elements of the page. In case you're new to Chrome extensions, I'll show you how to install Unhook YouTube and customize the settings, but you can follow the same basic process for all the other extensions in this video. I've linked to the extension in the description or to find this or other extensions, you can just search for it. I'll Google Unhook YouTube Chrome extension and it should pop right up. We can tap on add to Chrome and then follow the prompts. You'll see it gets added to your extension menu. So I'll head back to YouTube and refresh the page. And now you can see it's working to suppress the home feed. I can still search for videos and watch them. And by default, it's also blocking recommended videos. But if you want to customize it, we can also tap on the extension menu button and then tap on the extension icon. Or if you want to, you can just pin the extension for even easier access moving forward. So I'll just pin it and then I can tap on its icon at the top to toggle off and on the various elements of YouTube. What if you collaborate on Instagram Messenger for a school project or part of your job includes managing your employer's Facebook page? You're gonna need some access to these platforms, but quickly, you'll probably get way too distracted. Well, if you liked what that last extension did for YouTube, then you're going to love the Newsfeed Eradicator extension, which removes the home feed from Facebook, Instagram, really all the big names in social media. Once we have the extension installed, we can simply tap on it to choose which platforms we want to eradicate. I'll go with Instagram. Then if I open up Instagram, you'll see that you still have full access to your own profile and the platform's other features. You just won't fall down any rabbit holes. Delayed gratification is another great Chrome extension and it does one thing really well. It adds a brief waiting period before you can access a particularly distracting website. Simply install the extension and tap on the icon to customize. Add whatever websites you find distracting and modify the waiting period. We'll hit save. Now, when you go to mindlessly open up Instagram, you'll be confronted by the waiting period. Once you've survived the initial waiting period to gain access to a site, Delayed gratification won't make you immediately wait a second time for the same site. You can customize how long this free pass lasts by tweaking the lock me out after setting. And it's amazing how even a small delay like this can cause you to feel that the procrastination just isn't worth the effort. And hopefully you'll effortlessly cruise right back on task. Speaking of which, if you love using tech like this to dial in your productivity, then you might wanna grab my free guide to the top three apps for optimizing your morning routine. You can check that out via the link in the description below. It's a vicious cycle, I know. You get too many tabs open, you can't find the one you need, and so you give up trying and open up a new one. If you're like me, then it's dangerously easy to find that you've opened up 100 tabs and haven't really finished any of the articles or videos you've started. So let me introduce you to number four on our list, Xtab. It can be a real lifesaver and it simply limits your tabs so you can't mindlessly get too many open. I like to set this up to basically keep myself limited to one single project at a time. So here's the best way to do it. Click on the extension to customize your settings, tap on tab limit and choose other. We'll specify something quite small, say four or five. Then change the tab limiting behavior to block new tabs from opening. The result, instead of mindlessly clicking away from that article you just started, you'll be prompted to wake up and make a real decision. Was I about to do something important or was I veering off course? If it really is important, then close a less important tab and proceed. At least this way you've been a bit more deliberate. By the way, here's a pro tip for you. Pinned tabs and tabs in other windows don't count. So. If you always want your email close by, you can pin it so you won't have to worry about it using up some of your tab count. What if you need a bit more customizability? Those other extensions work great right out of the box, but they don't give you loads of flexibility. Well, when it comes to Chrome extensions, 
for distraction management, Leech Block is the real heavy hitter in this space. I'll throw an honorable mention out to Stay Focused, which has been overhauled in recent years and has a bit of a cleaner UI, but Leech Block is sort of the OG and offers the most granularity and flexibility in terms of how and when the blocks are enforced. So I'll focus on leech block for now, but I just wanted to tip my hat to stay focused as well. With leech block, you can create custom block lists and schedules so that certain sites will be blocked on the same days and times each week. I won't give you a full tutorial here, but if you really wanted to get things dialed in, here's what I would suggest. Use your calendar to pre-plan your week so you know what it should look like. When's bedtime? When are your classes, meetings, or planned study periods? Once we've got a decent plan for the week, sticking to it and opting out of it should not compete on an equal footing. So let's use leech block as a bit of a commitment mechanism. There's a bit more of a learning curve than with some of the other extensions I've covered. So let's work a quick example to get you up to speed. Although I suppose you could let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me tease out a few more advanced examples or use cases. For now, let's just set up a block so that we stay a bit more focused from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. Once you have it installed, click on the extension to open up the options. We're going to set up block set one. We'll give it a custom name. We'll call it work mode. Then add the sites you'd like to block, one per line. I'll add YouTube and Instagram for now. And now that we've defined what to block, we need to define when to block it. And we need to be careful on the 24 hour notation here. We want this to operate from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we'll type 0900 to 1700. Or if we wanted to add a 30 minute lunch break at noon, we would change that to 0900 to 1200 comma, and then 1230 to 1700. For now, I'll leave only the weekday selected so that this operates during a traditional work week and then scroll to the bottom and tap save options. Now, if I try to open up YouTube and it's during my scheduled block time, leash block will block me. However, if you're like me, then in a moment of weakness, you'll be tempted to bypass some of these settings and shoot yourself right in the foot. So I suggest locking it down a bit. But before you do, make sure you understand how this thing is working as it can get a bit more painful to fix after you lock it down. Once you're ready to proceed with locking it down, click on the general tab and then look for the access control section. And we can expand the drop down, and I'll choose the 32 character access code option just for demo purposes. Then scroll down and tap save options. And then I can close this tab. Now, if I try to go back into the leech block options, I get a bit of resistance. I can't change any settings unless I first copy out all this random text. Man, this stinks. This makes it a bit less tempting to circumvent your blocks in a moment of weakness, but if you ever really needed to make a change, you can still gain access. That's all for now, but check out my video on how using the right tools can help you stop accidentally demotivating yourself. And if you'd like to see a few of the best apps to help you dial in your morning routine, then don't forget to check out my guide in the description below. Remember, you may be just a few small tweaks from making optimal feel easy, so why struggle? Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.